Let's look at creating your own Christmas cards and special occasion cards using Affinity Photo. And this, of course, is an Affinity Photo tutorial. Let's begin by creating our basic document. Start a new document and make its overall size the same as you see here. 4.25 inches by 6.25 inches and 300 dpi. You'll find a preset, I'm sure, that's pretty close to that, or save this as your own preset. Use margins of 0.267 inches on all sides. Think of that as your bleed area, because you'll want your safe zone to be on the inside of that margin, so your card fits in a standard 6x4 card envelope. And of course, that's just a fraction smaller. If you make it the same size as the envelope, you won't be able to get it in the envelope. The very wide margin gives you room to adjust for other cards. Now when you've got that far, don't forget to save your document. So now with our new document open, let's go to Layers and add a new fill layer. Set its fill colour to RGB 273048. That's our new fill layer. It's actually the background, and it's a lovely deep purple colour, or deep blue perhaps. Depends on your eyesight, I guess. Save your work. Don't forget to save your work as you go. Next, we create a new document, and this one will be our embedded image, or smart layer. Don't just plonk an image on a layer in the card. It's too difficult to change. Embedding allows you to change the image easily without having to redo your entire master card. Simply create a new document and set its size to 7.156 by 10.5 inches for this particular document. Yes, that's big. You can adjust it to size when you use it in your card, and that's easy. This will be our embedded image file. Now it's a separate, separate Affinity Photo file. You can place a suitable image in it right now, or you can leave it as is with just a filler image as a place marker. You'll see that shortly in your card when we put it back into your master card. This image that I'm using is in the download section of the Affinity Inspiration website and you can see the address there, and I'll also put that in the description below this video. Now, save it with a file name you will remember, like card image, for example, or even pattern fill one. So back to the MasterCard. Pull down a guideline to a position of 0 0.970 inches. Next, go to File and place your embedded file, making a new layer, and with the snapping function on, center the card and pull it down to level with the guideline. You'll see the red and green lines assisting you with the snapping. Using the transform tool, adjust the size of the image to 2.29 inches by 3.36 inches, as you see there. And if you look carefully in the bottom right hand corner there, you'll see all the sizes relevant there. You can even rename the layers if you want to, but usually I don't bother. You can now drag the guideline back up to the ruler to remove it. You don't need to leave that guideline there now. Note the layer type in the layers panel. That's an embedded file layer symbol. See the little symbol like a brackets with a slash between them, that's, that tells you that's an embedded file. Save your work again. Now let's add some text. Using the artistic text tool you can add Merry Christmas. I use the font Apple Chancery, but you might have something else you want to put in there. Center it and size of my font is 2.138 inches width and 0 0.31 height. And the X position is 1.067 inches and the Y position is 4.494. Your font may vary slightly, but you can see it's lined up neatly with the 
uh, place marker image there. And you've got three layers over there in the right hand side layer panel now. Save your work. Now add a couple of lines of extra text if you like. Center them using the snapping tool again. And I've just got now the Jones family there and 25th of the 12th, 25. And again, save your work. Now let's add some decoration. It is Christmas after all. Well, at least this card is. Now the decoration I have here is simply a couple of patterns created as separate images. I'll make these available for download, or you can use your own, of course. The blue color is because that SVG file is selected, but they are in fact both a gold color. And you can see them in the layers panel there. And I've put them in a group called graphics, compound shapes, and there's hanging baubles and snowflakes and little branches and jumping reindeers and things like that. At the moment I have all other, all other layers turned off and you can see there they're not turned on. Save your work. Your finished MasterCard looks like this. This allows you to replace the main image with anything you like as well as replacing the decoration images if you like. Those gold images around the edge. Let's have a look and see just how we do that. Save your work before you move on. So if you make a mistake, you can come back to it. Now double click on the embedded image layer to bring up the image that's the place marker. You can see it's brought it up in size there and we'll place this image in the embedded file. Now I've placed a, a picture of a squirrel on a fence there and brought that in and I've just enlarged it so it's that size there and you can see the Your Image Goes Here uh, panel underneath it. That's the pattern fill number one right on the bottom of the layer stack there. There's the squirrel image a photograph there and just above that is one that's not showing it's a Christmas decoration image. We'll look at that later maybe. Now, select the file, place and drag out your own image to go there. It doesn't need to be the exact same size. You can adjust it or not to suit yourself. Something of a similar aspect ratio will help though. However, you can see the boundaries of the original photo in blue and the focal point of the image fits nicely. Now you can see the image is far larger than the one that's there. The blue borders go much further and I've moved the image over so and enlarged it so that the squirrel is the central focus of the image. Now you don't save the file, don't use the X to close it, simply close the file with File, Close and your card is done. When you go back and open to the other card, which is on one of the tabs in your system, all that's left to do now is export it and print it. But don't forget to save your work. Because that card's there now and all you need to do for next Christmas is open it up and change the image. You don't have to redesign it or do anything like that. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoy making these little cards. A Merry Christmas to you.